everyone, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Y'all, today we are shopping and crafting our stash. Stay tuned. Welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you decided to stop by. Welcome to all of my new subscribers. Welcome to all of my new friends and welcome back to all of my old friends for all of the wonderful support. Some of you have been supporting me since I first started on YouTube. Thank you so very much. In a previous video, I showed you this paper pad. We're going to craft it because I am shopping and crafting my stash. So this paper pad might be new to some of you, but it's actually been around since 2016. I've had it in my stash and since I'm shopping my stash and crafting my stash, I thought I would work with it today. And so here's what we're going to make today. We're going to make these awesome six by eight and three quarters of an inch personal sized clipboards. And we're going to complete the set by adding some stationary goodies. So I will give you guys a closer look in just a minute, but y'all know what time it is. It's time to make it. So here is a closer look at the paper pad. It's called the Mint Berry and it's by the Paper Studio. I am just going to do a very quick flip through so that you can see some of the papers in this pad. I started out with 60 sheets. I've probably used about 50% of that and I intend to use all of it. So today we're going to work with this pattern combination and I think it's absolutely delightful because we have the florals, polka dots, and then the chevrons. I think it's going to work out beautifully. And here's what we're going to be making. We are going to be making a six by eight and three quarter inch personal size clipboard. We have a nice little pocket here on the front. And in that pocket, I have tucked a couple of three by four note cards and envelopes. So we can also add a few pieces of sheet stationery if you wanted to, to complete your set. So I think that this makes an awesome gift as well as giving us some sellable opportunities if you wanted to introduce something like this to your craft fair. Just put it in a plain plastic cellophane bag. Wouldn't even put a topper on it. I think that this is enough. And then I made a clipboard without adding the pocket. It's just a plain clipboard. So if you don't want to add the pocket, you're going to have a nice sturdy clipboard just like this one. Again, this is six by eight and three quarters. So here is what we're going to need to make it. I'm going to be starting with two pieces of 12 by 12 paper. I am going to cut my chevron piece down to eight by 11. And then I'm going to cut a piece of this and we're going to cut it at five and three quarters by eight and a half and it'll be the back liner. But we're also going to have enough left over to do our pocket as well as the cards. And this will be a chipboard project. So for those of you who have invested in chipboard, go ahead, pull it out because you can use it on this project. I have two pieces that measure six by eight and three quarters. If you don't have chipboard, and you're looking for an alternative, if you have shoe boxes, if you double or triple stack those, then you'll have the consistency of basically a heavyweight piece of cardboard because that's what I'll end up with by doubling these two. So you want to make sure that you have a really hard and sturdy board so that when you're writing something, it's not sinking in. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to peel away the tape backer from one piece of my chipboard so that we can join it to the other piece. And I have used my double-sided tape for this. So all I'm going to do is stand this up and match it as best I can. So then I'm going to bring in the cover for the clipboard and we're going to trim it down. So I want this to be eight inches wide. So to make sure that my chevron stays as centered as possible, I'll trim two inches from this side and then I'll trim two inches from this side. Of course, I won't throw these away because I can already tell that these will make beautiful rosettes. And then I am just going to trim it to 11. So by balancing my cut from two here and two here, my chevron stays pretty centered. 
Now, whether or not I manage to get that centered when I do my placement, that's going to be a whole nother story. So then I'm going to take my liner. We're going to go ahead and put it in at five and three quarters and at eight and a half. And we'll be able to use this piece for the pocket. And then we'll be able to take this piece and cut it down and use it for the cards. I'm going to go ahead and trim this. four by 12 and then I'll take it, split it in half. And I now have two four by six inch pieces. This will give me my card. So these are our working pieces and this is our scrap. And of course we will use that scrap on a future scrap project. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do the clipboard. So I'm going to remove my tape. And I'm going to place this down using the grid mark on my mat. And then I'm going to try to get this placed as even as I can. And then I'll use my big old spatula to get that nice and stuck, stand it up, and train it to fold. Now I'm going to take my scissors and we're just going to go in and miter those edges. Then I'm going to take one of my tape runners and we're just going to add tape. To all four sides of our wraparound paper. And I'll stand it up. We're going to fold it over. And if you happen to have any little pointies like I do right there, just take your board and just tap those edges and that helps to clean that up. So now I'm going to flip this over. Then I'm going to use my big old spatula to go around the edges. And now you can see how professional that looks going all the way around. There is the front. I think I did a pretty good job on my placement this time. So here on the back, we're going to take this piece and we're going to put it here. I can see that I cut mine a little bit longer than it needed to be. So I am going to trim away just a little bit. So if you find that yours is a little bit longer, go ahead and just trim it off. And that piece is going to go right there. So I am going to take some of my inch and a half tape and I'm just going to place it down to cover the chipboard. and stuck. Then I'm going to do the same thing with this piece. I am going to take my tape and basically just go around the edges. And I'm using the wide tape because it's what I happen to have out right now. I don't use glue when I'm making a clipboard because I don't want to risk the possibility of having any warping. So now that we have our tape on this piece and our tape on this piece, we're going to remove those tape backers from both and get our pieces placed down. So now we're going to place this down and as you can see, I'm standing for this part because I want to make sure that I have a good placement. Now I'll use my big old spatula to make sure that everything is nice and stuck. And look how pretty and complimentary the back is to the front. So we have three pieces left. We're going to take the two pieces that measure four by six and just set them to the side. We'll take the other scrap piece and we're going to put it in the trimmer. 
because I want just a little bit of a border. So I am going to score this at half an inch and we're going to take this and we're going to put it down right here at the bottom. So I'm going to take my glue and just go along my little lip here, fold that over, and now I'll take my glue and we're going to place glue on three sides of our project. And so now we can take this and we're going to put it down. Now it's not going to go all the way to the end, but that's okay because we have such a nice blend on here that it looks pretty good. So then I'm going to take one of my little clips, place the clip at the top. You can use a larger clip if you want. I thought these clips looked pretty cute on here, so that's why I'm going with this size. So now let's make those cards. We're going to take the piece that measures six by four on the six inch side, score at three, and do the same thing with this one. I'm just going to fold and burnish. Two very quick little cards. And then I have some rub-ons that have sweet little messages. So I'm going to take this one and it says, thank you for blooming my day. And then I'm going to take this one that says, enjoy the little things in life. So I'll remove that backer from one. We're going to place it down right here in the center. These did come with a little popsicle stick. So all you do is rub until you have it transferred to your paper, your glass, whatever you might be putting that rub on on. And then I'll peel away and then I'll take this and we're just going to make sure we have it nice and burnished and see how quick and easy it was to do that. You can also do that with stickers. Just use them in place of rub-ons. So now I'm going to take this one and we're going to do the same thing. So I'm going to put it down. Use my little popsicle stick to just go over this. And basically all I'm doing is transferring the image. And there we have it. I'm going to take this piece and just burnish that in. And so there we have our nice sweet cards. I'm going to tuck those into the pocket. We are going to take a sheet of eight and a half by 11. And on the 11 inch side, we're going to score at five and a half. We're going to have two sheets that measure five and a half by eight and a half. We're going to turn these into our envelopes. So on the five and a half inch side or at five eighths, Rotate it to the opposite five and a half inch side, score at five eighths. Rotate it to the eight and a half inch side, score at three and six and an eighth. Then we're going to do the same thing with this one on the five and a half inch side, score at five eighths. Rotate it to the opposite five and a half inch side and score at five eighths. Score at three on the eight and a half inch side and at six and one eight. And then we're just going to fold and burnish all of those scores. So to make the envelope, all we do is we go to the intersecting point and we're going to angle here and here and we create that center section. Then we just angle in on all of the other pieces. So we'll create that center section on this side and now we can angle in here. Then I'm going to take my scissors and just round the ends. If you have a corner rounder you can use that as well. If you don't this is a great way of getting that rounded corner look. So now I'm just going to take my glue Add a little bit of glue there and there. Then the end that is the longest, that is the bottom. That's where we fold up. So I'm just going to add my glue.
bring that up. And y'all, that's how easy it is to make our own envelopes. You can take one of these cards out, put it in the envelope, and you know you have a good fit. So I am going to remove that. To seal it, I am going to add just a little bit of tape, not a lot. And now we can put this back in. All right, so the two envelopes are done. I think I'm going to add just a little bit of an embellishment to the envelope. And I am going to do that using some stickers. And I think I'm just going to stick with some nice little pink butterflies. And then on the back here, I think I'll put just another little butterfly right there. And right here. And so there we have our two envelopes. I am just going to take these and tuck them in just like this. And then to finish this off, I have this little sticker that says, All My Heart all my heart all the way across and we're going to place that down once I can get my placement right move it over just a little bit more and so y'all there we have it we've made another six by eight and three quarter inch clipboard and look how gorgeous it is like I said you could add some blank pieces of stationery to the inside just to make it a complete little stationery clipboard so you'll have a place to write a message, you'll have some note cards, and you'll have some envelopes. This really is a stinking cute, super easy way to make a giftable or a sellable. So easy to do. And look at how gorgeous they are. The colors are just perfect. They're not too vibrant and they're not too muted. So we have a beautiful little set here. Guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this awesome way that we can shop our stash and craft our stash and turn out something that is not only beautiful, but useful as well. If you have liked this video, and I certainly hope that you have, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join this amazing online crafting family. You guys, as always, please be safe, be kind, be the reason someone smiles today. Happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.